and then I'll um as you know I'll give it a minute here uh, yeah. kick you off with a, a nice intro and then I'll uh I'll go off screen let you do your thing we'll see how it goes and will I be able to share my screen yeah absolutely you should see okay. um should be I on your bottom button. I just yeah. wasn't sure if it was um it's enabled for you for sure enabled that's the right word yep yeah well, welcome uh, to the latest TMC Connect installment today. We're going to be introducing you to the guaranteed backup contract, uh, courtesy of a, a relatively newer partnership within the collaborative from Fly Homes and Eric Meadow joining me. But we'll give it just a moment here, uh, let everybody get situated, and we'll get going into today's discussion. Awesome. Thanks, Tom. For sure. Jeremy, I'm sending you a quick note. Jeremy is in the house. We can have a very um, sort of direct and candid conversation with a, with a, with an intimate group. It's good. Yeah. And I know we've got uh, some time to pencil in next week as, as well and uh, kind of looking at expanding things too. Awesome. Well, um, for the recording purposes, would you like me to give you a, a nice uh, warm introduction here? Yeah, that'd be wonderful. Thanks, Tom. Sure. All right. Well, we'll get rolling today with uh, our TMC Connect discussion, as mentioned, introducing the guaranteed backup contract uh, as courtesy of our partnership with Fly Homes, led by uh, one of our finest within the TMC family, Eric Meadow here. And Eric, correct me anywhere I'm uh, misstating uh, the introduction, but um, just a little background on the backup guaranteed contract. We kicked off our partnership uh, right on the, the precipice of our Nashville 2023 conference in the fall. And then Fly Homes launched the offering in Q4 of 2023, if I'm correct there. Um, essentially where the backup or the guaranteed backup contract will allow sellers to make a non-contingent purchase offer on their next home with fly homes guaranteeing to buy their existing home if they can't find a better deal. And then sellers having 90 days after closing on their next home to sell their old home at a, a high, to a higher bidder or close directly with fly homes. And it would be remiss of me to go any further than that and uh, and allow you to take it away, Eric, and do uh, and your thing. Yeah, thanks a bunch, Tom. And, and, you know, I definitely and we definitely appreciate the partnership with TMC. Thank you. And thanks for this opportunity here today. So uh, with that, I'm going to walk everybody through about a 10 or 15 minute presentation around the guaranteed backup contract. And we'll leave time for questions at the end or uh, you'll have my contact information if you want to contact me after this webinar and uh, talk directly to me that's that's great as well but as tom mentioned uh we're here today to talk about the guaranteed backup contract and i want to start by providing some context around that uh, and no better place to start with hey what's the problem that we're trying to solve for when we're developing a new product or introducing something to the market. Well, in this case, the problem that we identified was lack of inventory, difficulty for customers to win offers, and more importantly, in some cases, the inability to go ahead and get qualified to make a non-contingent offer on the next home. As lenders, we've seen that time and time again. And I wanted to work on a program that helped solve for those particular problems while also not putting our clients into a box. It was super important that we develop something that was a, what I would call a win, win, win solution. So who are the stakeholders? Uh, the customer, first and foremost, is the number one stakeholder. The realtor partner of yours is a stakeholder. You as a lender are the stakeholder. And then of course, we're a stakeholder as well, but sort of, a, we're really a solution provider to the stakeholders. And what we were able to do was leverage some of the 
current existing guidelines that exist out there with Freddie and Fannie and the jumbo lenders as well, all of whom we, we sell our loans into. You may be familiar with a guideline which specifically states uh, out of Freddie and Fannie that a homeowner who has a residence, we'll call it a departing residence, that's under contract for sale, but that sale isn't going to close until after they intend to buy a new home. In a sense, they're looking to buy before they sell their next property. Freddie and Fannie will allow a lender, an underwriter, to disregard the debt associated with that departing residence, provided that house is under contract to be sold, there are no financial contingencies, and it's going to close in a reasonable amount of time. So picking up where Freddie and Fannie were, were putting that down, we built a, an innovative sort of financial instrument that solved for that problem and complied with Freddie and Fannie guidelines to allow lenders to go ahead and get their next client, their client approved for the buy side financing well before they ever sell their departing residence. And that allows homeowners to go ahead and make non-contingent offers, uh, get approval, obtain financing from you, and probably equally importantly, allows the realtor to win by focusing on marketing, listing, and selling that departing residence in a timely fashion without some of the duress that's normally associated with selling before you buy. So with that, let me go into some of the specifics around how the guaranteed backup contract works. If your client's looking to buy before they sell, and you've already identified that they have a debt ratio problem. They don't qualify for two home loans at the same time. And that would re normally require them to go ahead and sell before they buy. You can advise your client to utilize this guaranteed backup contract. It's a referral-based tool. You're eligible to use it now. There are no formal signups required. Uh, we're certainly welcome to have more conversations around it so that you get comfortable and we can provide you marketing material, but it's good to go as it stands today. And as a TMC member, you get a nice benefit. Your client gets a nice discount on, on the program that we can talk about offline. But the way the program works is your client would sign up to receive a guaranteed backup contract. They would pay an option premium that we'll go into a little bit deeper later where the, the fee is a flat $2,500, and that's the rack rate. That's not the rate that TMC members receive. But $2,500, let's just use that for purposes of this conversation, flat regardless of the size of the transaction. And what that gets your client is it gets them a guaranteed purchase sale contract with optionality. The optionality is that they can take up to 120 and that that has changed. It used to be 90. It is now 120 days. They can take up to 120 days from the time they buy their next home using your financing in which to go ahead and use a realtor of their choice to market, list, and sell their property, get under contract. And when they do, when they get under contract for a better offer than we were willing to provide, we'll go ahead and cancel that contract. Yes, we retain the option premium. That's fee for service rendered, but they can go ahead and cancel it. They've already bought their new home with you financing it. So they're in there. The realtor then goes ahead and gets it sold for the highest market value. They cancel our contract. And at that case, everybody walks away with a win in their pocket. The client was able to buy before they sell using a non-contingent offer you were able to provide financing to that client using conventional financing. And then thirdly, the realtor wins because they were able to sell the home under without the usual distress, duress that I indicated before in a timely fashion and marketed at the appropriate value. So the next question that you might have for us is, well, how much do you offer on the house? And before I answer that, what I will tell you is 
when people ask that question, it generally gives me an indication that they may not truly understand the goal of the program. Since the goal of the program is not to buy the house, what really matters is that we're able to offer enough to offset or to cover their existing debt obligation, right? Because the goal is for them to sell using their realtor of their choice after the fact. But it is a very fair question, and I'm certainly willing to answer it. Our general policy is to offer somewhere between 75 and 80% of true market value. Your next question may be, well, how do I establish true market value? Well, we do a few things. One, if the house is already listed, we look at the listing. Uh, oftentimes, we'll use listed as, as current market value. Uh, secondarily, we'll pull an AVM. We we'll use Clear Capital for that, if you're familiar with them. And then thirdly, we use other data points, such as when they bought the house, the location, right? What market is the house in? And then we're able to apply, you know, years. I, I, I hesitate to even admit how many years experience I have in the industry uh, to, to use good judgment to determine, you know, probably what a fair market value is. And from there, we discount it uh, to the guaranteed backup price. What I will tell you is we have some flexibility around this. We want to win deals. We want you to win deals. So if we're close, you know, let's let's talk about it. Let's get to a point where we can make a solid offer that works for your client. But most importantly, we don't want to get too aggressive. Why? Well, two reasons. One, we want to mitigate our risk associated with buying houses underwater, right? We all understand what that means. And we don't do a ton of due diligence, so we're going to leave some room for error. But more importantly, really the real reason is we don't want to compete with the realtor. We want the realtor to do their job, to take that listing, to sell the house for fair market value as best they can, and not have to worry about us being too close and giving the client an option well, geez, we could just sell the fly homes and not deal with listing or commissions or anything like that. That doesn't work for your realtor, and they will push back very quickly if they feel like referring you a client that turns around not to use them for their listing, uh, is that's not a great uh, end result and will we'll limit opportunities for referrals. So we're very mindful of that. So we've created this product to ensure that everybody wins and we play very nicely in the sandbox with everybody. So then your next question may be for me, well, what happens if you do step in and buy the house at the end of 120 days because it didn't get sold forever for whatever reason? I'll tell you two things happen, and, and these are really two very critical things. One, we promise to relist that home once we buy it with the same realtor that brought you that transaction, the original listing agent. We do that for two reasons. One is the most obvious reason, I suppose, which is that agent is already familiar with the house. They've already put a lot of time and en energy into marketing it. We may as well leverage that because our goal is going to be to sell the house pretty quickly. We're not in the business of buying and selling houses for profit. We're more in the risk shift, uh, you know, loan facilitation business. So as a result, if we do end up buying the house, we're going to want to sell it pretty quickly. So the one question will likely, not question, sorry, the one conversation we will likely have with the listing agent is around why it didn't sell 99 out of 100 times. It's because of price. So we'll likely, you know, get that price at a point where we believe it's going to sell reasonably quickly and we're going to move forward that. We don't renegotiate commissions with the agents, whatever their standard agreement is, we will sign and we will pay that commission. We want the agent to win and not feel like they're losing in any way as a result of our participation. Secondarily, uh, we make a pledge to your client. If we do step in and buy the house and turn around and relist it with the agent, ultimately sell it, whatever profit we derive from the sales of that home, we will return 90% of that profit back to your client. So you ask, well, how do you define profit? Well, it's pretty straightforward, right? Sales price minus buy price minus commissions and other third-party uh, transaction costs that are typical in, in the conveyance of real estate. We all know what those are generally, and they differ by market. 
just know we don't add any of our own costs or or fees associated with with that transaction it's it's actual real hard costs that we deduct whatever is left 90 percent goes back to the client we retain 10 percent for our efforts uh, but once again that is not the intended path the intended path is to use our contract to qualify for buy side financing use the realtor to get it sold use a sense of urgency to know that they're on the clock once they buy, which is a good point that I'll I'll sort of conclude with. The clock does not actually start on our contract until they close on the buy side transaction. So if it takes them four or five months from the time they sign up with us to actually find a house and, and close on it, they get those four or five months plus the additional four months after they close in which to ultimately sell their house. We take the market risk, the duration risk, associated with that. So if they lock in our guaranteed backup contract on October 1st and they don't buy until March 1st and that gives them do the math uh, until till the end of July, August 1st, in which we step in and buy, we are taking the market risk from October 1st until we actually close on the purchase. So if the market goes sideways or downwards, that's on us to, uh, because we've, we've locked in the sales price. So it's another sort of uh, component of a feature, if you will, of the product that that your clients might might appreciate, particularly if they're struggling a little bit to get their house sold through the winter, things of that nature. So, okay, I think I've covered just about everything I wanted to cover today, um, and we're about 17 minutes into the presentation. So, this is probably a great time for me to shut up. Uh, see if there's anybody that has any questions. I'll I'll track the chat box here and I'll read them out to anybody, to everybody uh, so that you can hear the question. And then I'll, of course, I'll go ahead and answer. Okay, we've got a question here. It says, out of curiosity, what allowed Fly Homes to be able to extend the window from 90 to 120 days? Great question. So if you go into, deep, dive deep into the Freddie and Fannie Sellers Guide, you'll see that the guideline specifically states that the house must sell in a reasonable amount of time after they buy their new one. However, nowhere in the guides is reasonable defined. So it leaves it up to essentially sellers to Freddie and Fannie, independent sellers, IMBs, if you will, to, uh, to use their judgment in their underwriting to determine what a reasonable amount of time is. Given facts and circumstances, right, a reload or something like that, the timeline could be much greater than 120 days. Other facts and circumstances might support 120 days. But to answer the question directly, in looking at the marketplace and talking to Freddie and Fannie off the record and other aggregators, we got a very good comfort level, plus our lending partners, that 120 days would meet everybody's sort of uh, reasonableness test and would allow them to underwrite our contract against the buy side, uh, 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 the buy side uh, purchase and disregard the, the debt obligation, knowing the home would sell guaranteed in as many as 120 days, but likely quicker than that. So hopefully that, uh, that, that answers the question. Uh, we will, and just as a follow-up to that, there are occasions where we do provide extensions on our contract, primarily when folks you know, need a little bit of extra time and have a good reason for that. We will never provide an extension unless you, our lending partner, are okay with it. And this is really critical to understand. Why? Because you're underwriting that purchase money loan using our contract in disregarding the trailing debt. We don't want to create a misrep, whether intentional or unintentional, uh, by not closing on the sale of that house at the end of the stated period, uh, because obviously that creates some challenges around the saleability of your loan if there's a misrep attached to it. So we're very careful, very aware to ensure that that doesn't happen. So we will step in at the end of the 120 days. We will buy the house. We will pay cash for it. Uh, 
but for a conversation with you and the client. And if we determine that a 10, 15, 20 day extension is warranted, you're comfortable with it from an underwriting standpoint, credit risk standpoint, we will go ahead and grant that extension because ultimately we want to see the client sell to somebody other than us anyway. So great question. Thank you for that. Any other questions today? And if not, we can we can go ahead and wrap up. Let me uh, let me share with you verbally here my contact information. Uh, my email address is e meadow no s at the end of meadow e meadow at flyhomesmortgage.com. My phone number cell number and I take calls twenty four seven as long as I'm conscious is 530-615-9752. Feel free to use that anytime. You can call or text. I'd love to talk about use cases, particular scenarios, problem solving. It's my favorite thing in the world to do. So feel free to, uh, to leverage me as much as you would like. And I'd love to help you win some deals moving forward. So with that, Tom, I'm going to turn it back over to you. Thank you for the opportunity to, uh, to present today and share uh, what I think is a really cool, innovative program. Well, thank you, Eric. It was really great detail and understanding exactly how the program works and some of the different scenarios that can create flexibility, you know, beyond um, that 120 day window. So I always appreciate your insight and expertise here. And uh, just thank you for, uh, for being a great partner of the collaborative and hope, all of you will uh, reach out to Eric, particularly when he's conscious, uh, to see if, if Fly Homes can be a helpful solution for your company and your clients. And, and thank everybody for joining in today on TMC Connect. We'll make sure to follow back up with the access to today's recording. Thanks, Tom. Bye, everybody. Thanks, Eric.